A Roosevelt to Roosevelt by Ruben Dario. It's with the voice of the Bible, or verse of Walt Whitman, that we should reach you, Hunter, primitive and modern, simple and complicated, with a bit of Washington and four of Nimrod. You are the United States. You are the future invader of the naive America who has indigenous blood that still prays to Jesus Christ and still speaks Spanish. You are a proud and strong exemplar of your race. You are cultured, you are clever, you oppose Tolstoy. And breaking horses or murdering tigers, you are an Alexander Nebuchadnezzar. You're a professor of energy, as today's madmen say. You think life is fire, that progress is eruption. Where you put your bullet, you put the future. No. The United States is strong and big. When it shakes, there is a deep tremor through the enormous vertebrae of the Andes. If you clamor, you hear the roar of the lion. Already Hugo said to Grant, the stars are yours. Hardly it shines, rising, the Argentine sun, and the Chilean star rises. You are rich. You join Hercules' cult to Mamon's, and lighting the path to easy conquest, Lady Liberty raises her torch in New York. But our America, which had poets from the old days of Netzalcoyotl, that has guarded the footsteps of the great feet of Bacchus, that the panic alphabet in a time was learned, that consulted the stars, that knew Atlantis. Whose name arrives to us resonating in Plato, that since the remote moments of your life lives from light, from fire, from perfume, from love. The America of the great Montezuma, of the Inca, the America scented by Christopher Columbus. The Catholic America, the Spanish America, the America in which the noble Guatemoc said, I am not on a bed of roses. That America that trembles from hurricanes and lives in love, Men of Saxon eyes and barbarous souls lives. And dreams and loves and vibrates and is the daughter of the sun. Be careful, the Spanish America lives. There are a thousand cubs loose from the Spanish lion. It would be necessary, Roosevelt, to be through God himself the terrible rifleman and strong hunter, in order to be able to have us in your tight grips. And although you think you have everything, lack one thing, God.